having a child means that you know all the work that I'm doing right now in my life is to make sure that she has a better life than the life I had is her response to my voice message was okay she's 11 she's about to be 12 oh god bless me literally But I also wanted to make sure that I got up and did that early. It's 10.34 and I think this must have already gone off on my to-do list. Chimsy run around the table, fix my nail. So I have a few things on this little list. Went in the kitchen for reusable bags and I came out without it because I forgot so I gotta go back. I'll just take this on. The other night it got so hot in here, I had to use the air conditioner just for a little bit. The Dollar Tree shopping experience was a success. Here's what I got. <clears throat> Let me have you all my pills laid out on the table here. So, one of my glasses broke the other night, so I wanted to repurchase that, and I literally just bought one. Looking at the one up there to make sure it's the same thing. I bought this thing to go over the door, and then I bought some, um, some salami, because we have some sandwich meat in the fridge, and I just wanted some salami to go with it, because we didn't buy that. Definitely wanted some garlic powder, so I bought some more. Aluminum foil, which is actually one of the things that I went for, because on the top of my stove, I lift um, the thing, the metal thing up, and take the burners off, and then I put aluminum foil, and then I put them back down. So it's an easier cleanup. So when you're gonna clean it up, you just take all of that off and take the aluminum foil off, wipe it off and put a new piece of aluminum foil there. There are some things on Amazon and I can remember at one point I had bought like a whole pack of it and they just were not giving what they were supposed to give. So that didn't work out for me. I bought these fake flowers because I want to make another one of these centerpieces and uh, so far I don't know, maybe that one is going to live on the table and free. I bought some napkins because you can't really have enough napkins. I don't like when we're like sitting at the table eating to be rolling off like a ply of the paper towel. So I have this little thing here and I always put napkins inside of it. I brought some candy just because sour neon worms. I bought some craft original barbecue sauce because the other day I made some chicken and got that chicken was good. Wow, this little Lucky Charm eat right now. Just because I saw it. Oh, and I bought some vanilla. The other day I went to the grocery store and I needed vanilla extract, right? The one that I saw is some something different. And I still bought it because I knew that I needed vanilla, but I think I'm used to this brand more. So now I have this and this. I'm supposed to be baking banana bread or something whenever I get the motivation to do that because right now I'm not as motivated um I think I'm gonna warm some milk and pour this in there because a couple of weeks ago Mr. chewed me out saying that word and this is not supposed to be eaten dry so good morning one it's too early to be asking about a game and two I'm not approving the game because last night I was calling you yesterday I was calling you about the schoolwork and you didn't answer your phone and I understand that maybe you didn't see when I was calling you but you also didn't return the call and so I'm gonna I'm afraid that I have to take that as you answer or you call back when it's convenient for you meaning when you want something so I'm not approving the game based on that because you should have called me back or at least texted me back you're texting me asking me for a game at 10 a.m. and it's not even, and you didn't even say good morning. Remember your manners. So no to the game. Guys, let me tell you something. If it's one thing about me, I'm not gonna ward what I consider bad behavior. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's very imperative that she knows that this is not how you operate. You don't do this, you don't do that, whatever. You know what I mean? Having a child means that, you know, all the work that I'm doing right now in my life is to make sure that she has a better life than the life I had. And don't get me wrong, I did not have a bad life. We had all the things that we needed when we were growing up, 
but I feel like, you know, I'm making sure that I put things in place for her life to be a little bit easier. And I'm gonna need her to show an attitude of like wanting that. And I don't know if I'm even making any sense. And this goes back to a conversation that I was having back in the Christmas time. And I was saying that life insurance and things like that, I get that because and I have two. I get that because I wanna make sure that if I were to die, there's something that's prepared for her, right? Because we don't know when we're gonna die. One, two, living in America and working a regular job and trying to save money is not the easiest thing. Yes, you save her, whatever the case is, her response to my voice message was okay. She's 11, you're about to be told. Oh, God bless me, literally. If I'm gonna save $100,000, for example, I can't save that within one working year because you have bills, you have living expenses, you have, you know, and even if your job pays you $100,000 a year, it's not like they give you the $100,000 at the start of the year and say, oh, budget this for the, the remainder of the year. No. So you never get the 100000 in your hands. No. However, if I die and there's $100,000 from a life insurance that she could use to go to college, maybe somebody is smart. You know, when I die and they're like, all right, let's, let's, let's make an investment out of this. Let's buy a lot of investment property. This is a down payment and we'll like rent a part of it out so that this could create income for you or this could pay the mortgage for the house until you're like down to school or whatever. Out of the 100,000, she could probably go to college. Some of it could go towards college. The life insurance that I have is more than 100,000. I think one is 300,000. That's more than enough money for her to be able to go to school and get, get an education so that you know she's able to make a living for herself with pretty much the setup that I'm that I'm leaving in place for her which is the life insurance you know what I mean and so I feel like it's very important I remember when I was gonna get it um, my mom always had these things when I was gonna get it I was asking my friend which company she uses and she was like she don't have one and I'm like what I feel like once you start having kids not only just that you know everybody should have one in general because you know funeral expenses are very expensive and you can't die and expect the rest of your family to be able to cover that and then what you're dead and they're in debt and that's also one of the reasons why i made it very clear to my sister that i want to be cremated i think that's some information i should pass on to like my mom or whatever my, sh my sister shares the same views but that is what i want for myself because i want i don't know how much it costs but i also don't want them to be spending so much of the insurance money when i die to have a funeral for, I want to be cremated. The rest of the money could go in investments to making sure that my kid or my kids have like a good life. And that's my plan for them. Anyways, I have a few other things on my to-do list that should be going off anytime soon. So we're gonna probably jump into that. She said her phone died and it was charging and you said I'm not supposed to use it while it's charging. And I did not see you calling. She, the whole point is lost on her because she's busy making excuses. I said, could have called me back did you miss that anyways that's all i'm about to go find something to eat right now i put this over the door i said i was gonna warm some milk so i have this old bouquet that i had bought on amazon but i i hate how these always look so damn fake. So what I'm gonna do is mix this with these ones that I had from the Dollar Tree. I got ones that were mostly green because I like implementing some greenery in the space. This baby's breath, you know, and then I have some coming from Amazon that's also green. So that should be a good little centerpiece. Maybe I can make two out of it, I don't know. If I can do that, then I'll put one on the table here and only about one box, it's looking slow, I don't know. So we're gonna have a very aesthetically pleasing bowl of Lucky Charms for breakfast. And it's crazy because I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought this and I literally have a box of Lucky Charms in the cupboard. A waste of money. It's a good thing this man is not here. I need to hear that too, because I already know. 